This building stands as a symbol of faith in the future. We were planning it in the middle of one of the worst recessions, if not depressions, that the country has faced in a long time. The ground was broken when the ground under our feet was broken, and the building was built when the ground literally moved under our feet with the earthquake. When we planned this building, we hoped that it would be more than just a place for labs and classrooms and what used to be called the library. We hoped that it would help to frame in a real campus center, a place where students could be together and meet each other. We found out after the earthquake that we could do a lot with technology but that the relationships between students or among students and between students and their teachers and, and other people like counselors is vital. It was sad to see students sitting in their cars eating from the lunch wagon, not being able to sit together and talk and share. We know that students are more successful when they have those relationships. Well, this building was designed with the idea that it would foster those relationships. It was designed to teach green jobs, but to live it, as you'll see on the tour. It was designed to expose how it works, so that even if you're not going to be an engineer or a technician, you can see what makes a building tick in terms of its HVAC systems and how it can be green. We know that we need scientists mathematicians, technologists, and engineers. We know where they will come from, right here at Germana Community College. Our region needs them more than ever, and we know that the future is gonna be bright because those will be the folks that will be designing our green buildings of the future, making sure they come up with the innovation, the creation that we know has made this country great. Just think of it, the, the students that come out of this facility, this institution, will be those folks that will design those those creative and innovative products and buildings and 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 the needs for the future uh, will be met by them what a what a great opportunity this region has now that we have this facility here i'll tell you it really is amazing to me and just as dr sam said you know it's not about the bricks and mortar it's about the faculty it's about the students here it's about what this building will do to institute that realm of learning, that area of innovation and creation that will motivate those students to become the leaders in the future and those dreamers and those innovators and creators. That's what has made this nation great. That's what will continue to make this nation great. And that's why it's so critical that Germana Community College have this facility to be an integral part of that. You know, we're blessed to be close to the capital there, Washington, D.C., with lots of things going on in that region. And I can tell you that the students that will come out of this institution, the faculty here, will be part of helping not only shape the science, technology, engineering, and math for the future, but they will also be part of shaping the policy to make sure that we enhance the science, technology, engineering, and math as it relates to our nation's future. So again, folks, thank you all so much for everybody here today. I know you have the passion in your heart like I do mine to make sure that our education system is indeed the world's best. And I am absolutely convinced that our Virginia Community College system, with Germana as its shining star, is indeed the best community college system in the United States, and Germana is right there at the sh as a shining example at the top. It's really a great honor and a privilege for me to be here today at the opening of this building. Our community is enhanced by having the educational institutions in the area that will partner with us to help us with our workforce development, help us train our students for the jobs that they'll have to face as we move into the 21st century. They need the skills, knowledges, and abilities to compete in today's workforce. And I know that particularly in the science and technology and math area that this will be a, an, extreme, uh, an extremely great facility for them to get that. Economic development for this area hinges on having a community with good schools and trained employees. The new building enhances our abilities to provide our community additional resources to ensure the economic success of our citizens in our community. 
and I look forward to working with Germana as a member of the Board of Supervisors and I, I really appreciate all that this school brings to the county and to the surrounding areas and to our citizens and to our people that need the kinds of skills and training that you're prepared to provide. And I appreciate it very much and thank you for having me. Building. I've been in many of them. This is a special place. Let me uh, thank the uh, members of the McDonald administration for supporting this project, helping us expedite it. I also want to thank the legislature for investing in this project to run this great recession. Um, I want to thank Spotsylvania County for their support and uh, Rob, thank you. You show up at more community college events than I do. I think I think he's about two courses short of an associate. <laughs> I find this building so exciting. Uh, it, I'm so pleased we're able to to show, give this, they'll have this building for our students. After the earthquake, uh, when we got started off, our students stuck with us. They didn't, they didn't quit. They still strive towards their dream. But in the last year, I've watched them eat lunch in their car. I have found them studying in the stairwells because it's the only place quiet. Some students have tried to study in the back of classrooms that have two or three empty seats in it just because at least it's quiet. They've been piled up on top of each other in the library, but they've stuck with it. They haven't given up. They haven't, they haven't dropped out of school. And it, it's so pleasing. I can't wait until the students start coming to this building. It's so beautiful. We have state-of-the-art science labs, state-of-the-art engineering labs, a gorgeous library that's light and sunny. Uh, we have a, a coffee bar for them. We have little nooks and crannies with comfortable seating for them to study in. We have study rooms for them to do group work. And it's so great that we can, can you know, sort of give this to them after, after a tough year for them. Uh, and the other exciting thing is this isn't just a rectangle of bricks that in which we house a place to be educated. The building itself is going to help educate students. There's the, um, the um, windmill that'll help show them the dynamics of uh, wind energy. There are um, the panels along the hallway that are showing them the workings of the building and how it's functioning and how energy is being used. That we, we have tapped the rainwater that's used to flush the toilets and all that's being monitored and the monitoring can show, can be seen by the students. We've, um, we have um, uh, the, the green roof that we can use for uh, some of our botany, botany experiments and science labs. So the building itself is one of the educators. And I just think it's so exciting. Uh, the faculty will be here. Many faculty will be over here. There's places for faculty to meet with students, for full-time faculty to meet with part-time faculty and do mentoring. Open, very open so the students can see where the faculty are, see who's in rather than closed doors. And I think it's just going to be wonderful. And after the year the faculty have been through, after the year the students have been through and everybody has toughed it out, I just think being able to, to welcome them uh, in really a week and a half to this new building is just so exciting. And um, it's just, I think it's going to be a wonderful day and then in the fall when all of the students come back, I think it's just uh, a really exciting thing.